Well, the HIT Center is the High Throughput Biology Center, which uh, we started about seven years ago. And uh, it's a brand new initiative for the School of Medicine that tries to bring together uh, lots of different interdisciplinary approaches in modern biology in a way that's never been done at Hopkins before. The, the HIT Center was, a, a, in a way, a, a challenging experiment in the larger scale, both from the school point of view as well as from us. You know, we run this type of thing in a, in a format that school hasn't really had before. Because we're part of the Institute of Basic Biomedical Sciences, we're driven by, you know, fundamental discovery questions, curiosity-based science. Uh, but everything we do has, uh, has an impact in the long run on, on biomedical research because basically at the root of every medical question, there's some fundamental biology uh, uh, that, that we don't understand. I would be surprised if every clinical department didn't use one of our facilities, one or more of our facilities, just because I mean we run, we run basically run businesses, which are these small core facilities that that are used by virtually everyone. The sequencing, the uh, microarrays, um, the chem core. Uh, we have approximately 40 uh, joint affiliated faculty with the center. Um, we're extensively integrated and it's something that we that's another area that we really want to develop over the next few years is, is to make that more and more significant. When the program started I come to realize we got a good sized sandbox but not a whole lot of sand inside and so our instruments uh, began with uh, everything we can get from eBay to donations in, by pharmaceutical company. Now we have a state-of-the-art instruments in the nation, this is really one of the kind, so we become a very important anchor for a larger network. We're certainly very excited to see what else we could do in terms of collaborations and, and making discoveries. One of the ones that I'm most excited about right now is um, can you build a genome from scratch? Can you design a genome from scratch? Uh, uh, starting with Starting with an existing genome, can you redesign it to make it do things that a natural genome can't do? And uh, this is not a project for the faint of heart. It's something I never would have dreamed of doing before being in a place like the High Throughput Biology Center. Well, I think, uh, oh, that's very exciting. <laughs> One of the most amazing thing about our heart is that it is a protection system uh, as a sensor for the kind of medication we take. Because all drug, in a way, is toxic because they're not natural to human. What we have been able to do is deploy this data set, a huge data set, one of the kind on the web. So everybody around the world will have a free access to look at a compound in this huge library to see whether they have a potential risk for the heart function. What about that caffeine I just drank? That may be toxic. <laughs> <laughs> One of the really remarkable things that the center has allowed us to do uh, by putting together new instrument systems, new resources in terms of biological resources and so on, um, we can ask questions that we just couldn't answer before.